الحمد لله الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده على من لا نبي بعده ولا أمة بعد أمته ولا كتاب بعد كتابه ولا شريعة بعد شريعته أما بعد فوض بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تبتلوا صدقاتكم بالمن والعذى صدق الله العظيم respected viewers Welcome back to our program, Rays of Light, where we look at different messages and themes from the Holy Quran. Yesterday we did on the positive and the negatives of the material world. And today we're going to follow it up in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about charity. Allah ta'ala speaks about the rewards of charity. Allah warns us about certain traits about charity. And I think it makes for fascinating reading and understanding. Firstly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about the reward of charity. مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ The example of those who spend in the path of Almighty Allah. Now when we say spending in the path of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it means spending in the causes of Almighty Allah, spending it in propagating the deen of Almighty Allah, giving it to those organizations that are working in good causes and giving it to those people who are poor, assisting those. Allah says in the first page of the fourth juz of the Holy Quran in Surah Nisa, لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرَّ حَتَّى In fact, Surah Ali Imran, لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرَّ حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ You cannot achieve righteousness until you spend of that which you love. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us with regard to uh, spending, which brings about closeness to Almighty Allah. Here Allah ta'ala says about charity, the example of spending in the path of Allah. Allah ta'ala uses the word fi sabilillah. Kamathali habbatin ampatat sab'a sanabila fi kulli sumbulatim mi'atu habba. That it is like the example of a branch which has of branch of grain, seven years, seven different types, seven years of those grain. We call it the grain, the years of the grain. And in each year, there is 100 grains. So in short, when you spend a rain, Allah Ta'ala says, it is like in one grain, in, there, in that particular grain, there are seven grains in which each and every grain has 100. So it will be multiplied 700 times. Wallahu yudha'ifu limay yasha. And if Allah wishes, Allah will multiply it even more than that. So the reward of charity, if it is done correctly, then minimum it is multiplied 700 times. Wallahu yudha'ifu limay yasha. If Allah Ta'ala wishes, Allah will multiply it even more than 700 times. So this is what Allah is giving us, the reward of charity. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then goes on to make mention, but be careful. This is only with regard to those charity that is done with a proper intention. And Allah ta'ala then warns us, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu la tubtilu sadaqatikum bil manni wal adab. O you who believe, do not spoil the reward of your charity bil manni wal adab by taunting and reminding people about your charity and your help and your assistance to them. Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us that never ever show a favor to people whom you are giving. In fact, many a times our ulama tell us that they, the people who give, they are indebted to the poor to accept their charity. What happens if there is no one to accept your charity? What happens if there is no one to accept your zakat, which is obligation upon, obligatory upon you? Then who are you going to? And how are you going to fulfill your obligation? Subhanallah. 
Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, don't spoil, la tubtilu, don't cancel your charity and the rewards of your charity. Bil manni wal adha, by taunting and showing favors upon the person whom you are helping. Allah ta'ala then tells us, qawlun ma'roof wa maghfiratun khayrun min sadaqati yadba'uha adha. Speaking kind words, excusing yourself from helping a person. It is better than a charity which is followed by hurt and inconvenience to the person whom you are giving. If, for example, you are not in a position to help, for whatever reason, maybe you do not have sufficient funds, or you, your heart is not open to the person who has come to ask of you, then Allah Ta'ala says, then saying a kind words and excusing yourself is better than giving charity and then taunting the person and hurting him and inconveniencing. Look at the beautiful words. Qawlun ma'roof wa maghfiratun khayrun min sadaqati yadba'uha adha. That saying a kind word is better than giving and then taunting the person and causing him inconvenience. And Ibn Kathir, rahmatullah alayhi, when he commented, commentated on this verse, he said, the rewards of charity are very great. But the rewards of charity are not so great that it can wipe away the sin of taunting a person after you have given him. What a beautiful sentence. The reward of charity is very great. Allah Ta'ala says, it is equivalent to 700 times multiplied your good deeds. But it is not as much and it is not so great that it wipes away the, the guna and sin of taunting people after you have given them. No, you can't do that. Ya ayyuhu alladheena aamanu la tubtilu sadaqatikum bil manni wal adha kallazi yunfiqu amwaalahum ri'aa an-nas wa la yu'minu billahi wal yawmi al-akhir Allah Ta'ala equates the one who cancels his charity by taunting and inconveniencing and hurting and passing comments on the person whom he has helped like the one who gives charity for the sake of name and fame. There is no reward. Just as there is no reward for a person who gives charity for the sake of name and fame, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, there is no reward for a person who taunts. And Allah gives a physical example with regard to it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَمَثَلُهُ كَمَثَلِ سَفْوَانٍ عَلَيْهِ تُرَابٌ فَعَسَابَهُ وَابِلٌ فَتَرَكَهُ سَلْدًا لَا يَقْدِرُونَ عَلَى شَيْءٍ مِّمَّا كَسَبُوا وَاللَّهُ لَا يَحْدِ الْقَوْمَ الْكَافِرِينَ The example of those people who taunt or the example of those people who give charity for the sake of name and fame is like that person or like that example of a little bit of grain, a little bit of sand on a smooth rock. Now there's a little bit of sand, a little bit of grain on a smooth rock and if a little bit of rain comes, it wipes away that little bit of sand, that little bit of grain, and there is nothing left on that smooth rock. In a similar manner, one who gives charity for the sake of name and fame, or the one who gives charity with the intention and are taunting people after he has given them, that is the example, no reward. Therefore, in a hadith, Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had said, that amongst the people who will first go into the fire of hell will be people who have done noble deeds. The alim and the generous person who gave charity and the martyr who sacrificed his life in the path of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell them, for whom have you done it? You have done it for the sake of name and fame. People must call you a great scholar or people must call you a very generous person or people must call you a very brave person. You got the accolades in this world, no reward. And look at how beautifully Allah explains the example of those who give charity for the sake of name and fame, or the example of those who taunt people after giving charity is like a smooth rock, a little bit of sand, a little bit of grain. The rain comes, it wipes away that sand. Anyone who gives charity for name and fame, or for the sake of or, or, taunting people after he has given them, no good remains. And this is how Allah Ta'ala explains the aspects of charity, the reward, and the conditions, and the warnings. And inshallah, we will continue with other aspects of charity the way Allah has described it in the Holy Quran.